I mean, listen to how happy they are. Look at him jamming. You guys, you, you be jamming? Howdy there, partners, and welcome back to Slime Rancher. It is I, your favorite slimy slimer, Pablo Punchwood, here at the Punchwood Ranch. And the far, far range, picking up right where we left off. It is now day 10, 6 o'clock in the morning, and you can see that I'm in my ranch house. I literally just rolled out of bed. And it's time to check our mail. We have a bunch of new mail that we noticed last night before hopping into that ridiculously comfortable metal slab over there in the background. <laughs> Um, I've already previewed some of these emails just to give you the lowdown here. So basically the 7Z Corporation, they're the ones that uh, maybe had sent us out here to do this whole job, right? They were the, f the very first email from 7Z and now they're sending us mail about new new tools or new upgrades for our uh, VAC pack. So the Tank Booster MK3 is now available and at some point they even told us MK2 is available. I'm not really sure how these are sorted. There's no dates on them or anything, but um, we already have the MK2. I do not have the MK3, so that's something we can check out in a moment. And hold on one second. I got a hot one here. All right, I'm back. It was a uh, crank call from the Spy Chickens asking if I had received their message, and I did. It's right here. It's very, it's very cryptic. I don't really understand it, but it's some kind of a, uh, it's some sort of blackmail. I think it says in chicken language, release the chickens or it's chitons for you. Anywho, um, I just hung up on them. Ridiculous. So here's another one. Air drive available as well in the upgrade shop. So we got to go check that out. And then Moki Miles is introducing herself. She's kind of stuck up, actually. I'll leave that up there. You guys can read it. And we have Ogden Ortiz. We've seen all these, right? Although she's talking about some kind of a mythical veggie that is said to be the favorite food of the equally mythical gold slime. So we'll keep our eyes open for all that stuff. Okay, great. Mail done. Let's go. Darn computers. Who needs them anyway? Now we get to do the fun stuff, the ranching. And we start out our day with what? Slop and scoop, right? Yeah. Let's go slop the slop and scoop the poops. <laughs> but first, we're going to cash in these tabby plorts here. Make a few quick bucks on the market. 17 buckaroos apiece. And did I see a rock tabby flying? Oh, I did. Dude, really? I know you're so hungry. Just relax. Wait, you don't have any food? He gads. What the... Here, somebody eat a beet. I want to see what kind of poops you give me. Is it supposed to eat double... Uh, they, they're supposed to love these so much that they give you double the poops, right? You, eat it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I got hearts. You see the hearts? Bloop. Looks like the same number of poops. I couldn't tell. Anyway, all right. Let's go grab up the food. Oh, beets are in. The beets are in. Wow. Ooh, that's a lot of beets. Hey, that's pretty great. 13 beets. Nice. I don't know how many carrots we had before, but it seems like they're right about the same amount. We're going to shove them all in here for now and let the auto feeder do its thing. And the boom slimes are still extremely unhappy. And I think today, one of the first things we're going to want to do is pacify these guys. Yeah, we need to soothe them because they are out of control. How much money do I have? A thousand buckaroos. Here, let's go do this right now. Chicken! Hello! Come here. Gotcha. You know, I had an issue with one of the saves and my wall. Remember, I, I built walls at some point here. I raised the roof. Well, not the roof, but I raised the walls up for my chickenses. And I had an issue with the save file, and I lost it. And I lost my upgrade. It got rolled back a bit, so weirdness, right? So I'll tell you what. Let's, um, let's go hand feed these little fellers. And that little guy... I thought I... Sent you all to Vacation Island, but I must have missed one. Oh, he's nuts, too. Look at his face. My gosh, he's lost it. All right, well, everybody eat chickens. And that guy's going to grab a golden plort, most likely. And turn into one of the big, big honey booms. Honey booms! <laughs> this is the best name ever. And then uh, we'll have all honey booms here. And then we're going to figure out how to keep these guys um, happy. Obviously, feeding is one way. And we can give them some music, too. What kind of music do you guys like? Something explosive, loud, lots of boom, boom, boom. I would imagine, right? Boom, boom, yeah. All right, there. Eat your chickens. Ain't you happy yet? Now, let's give them some music, and then we'll, uh, we'll go collect all the rest of the plorts. Man, I can't even get in there to make the upgrade. Stop it! Listen, don't you guys want some tunes? 
All right, there we go. Music box. The music box plays a soothing tune that greatly reduces slime agitation. That's great, because these guys are very agitated. And they're agitating me, too. And aggravating me. Whoa! Yeah. All right, that little guy didn't eat a golden core yet, did he? Whoa, 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 back off. I want to feed this little guy a honey plort. Eat, no, eat this. Yeah, there you go, big guy. Now, I want that back, because I missed. Whew, dangerous. All right, now, let's look at all the plorts in here. e gas. wow. Man, we are going to have such a great harvest today. Are you guys fighting over that beet? That, that's, that's how they play. Yeah, that means they're happy when they fight over the food, I think. <laughs> This is what we call a food fight here uh, on, the, on the ranch, on the slime ranch. Food fight! It's a friendly little spat, that's all. Right? All upside down. See? Woohoo! That looks like fun. Uh, well, no. Maybe not if you're, uh, if you're a human. Let's grab these ports right here, which we can fit in our tube. We're gonna come back for the pinks. And then I'll get you guys fed up too, okay? <laughs> they're, they're already fed up. <laughs> <laughs> we need fruits. We don't have any fruits. We're gonna have to go collect some. All right. What are the honey ports paying? Ooh, ooh! Look at that. It's a bull market. Prices are going up. Prices are going up. And fiery plorts. Ooh, look at that. Another bull market. Fifty a piece for the fiery poops. Man. And uh, we've got we got no 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 increase or loss on the uh, on the rock port. Excuse me. Fifteen a piece is still pretty good. Look at the money, man. Woo! Whoa, tasty! We got a tasty achievement. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> I wouldn't eat these things, but somebody must. Awesome! Twenty-one hundred buckaroos, and I haven't even collected all the plorts yet. Now let's go check out these new. Upgrades. Air drive. Enhanced jetpack thrusters that consume 20% less energy, but produce double the fun. Nice. Okay, because we do burn through energy really quickly, so upgrading our drive seems like it would be uh, a worthy investment. Dash boots make us run faster. Oh, can only consumes half the energy when sprinting. Ooh, I like that too, actually. I do a lot of sprinting. Um, and then the power core... Oh, wait. Oh, power core. Because right, I already have the tank booster, too, right? Yeah. So, power core boosts energy to 200. We have 150 now. That seems nice. And tank booster 3 increases the size of our tubes to 50. 50 apiece. Nice. Now, I think I might just get the dash boots for now. Because it's only 200. And, yeah, let's do that, because we do a lot of sprinting, and I hate running out of energy so fast, so now it's not drawing energy as quickly. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I like that. All right. Ha, ha, ha. Now, let's grab these pink plorts right here real quick. And then... Oh, I'm going to feel that. Yep. Heard it. And now we got to go get some fruits for these little guys. And I, I think I know exactly where to do this. So let me grab those real quick. And you know what? Well, you guys are done pooping, because I've already taken care of all that. Um, let's, oh my gosh. Look at, they're so happy eating those beets. Even more plorts. This is crazy. This is a lovely harvest. All right, guys, it's now one o'clock. I just cashed in all of my plorts for the morning. And we have 2,484 buckaroos. And why don't we just take a quick look at the ranch exchange here. Range exchange. Uh, nah, not gonna be able to do that today. And let's go take a look at the music box. I didn't actually get a close-up view, and I thought maybe we should. Is there anything actually coming out? Can I stand on your head? Ah! No. You didn't like that, did you? I thought maybe we'd hear, like, a little bit of a tune coming out, but nope. We have background music already, so wow. All right, here's the plan. I want to go over here. we got to feed our little honey slimes, because they're still upset. We have a, an area here that we can open up with some cash. So let's do it. It's Ranch Expansion. Overgrowth is the name of it. The ranch's very own wild side, and it costs 950 buckaroos. So the overgrowth is an expansion to the ranch that is covered in, in moss and tall grasses. The thicket 
it creates allows for fruits and veggies to grow naturally and attracts the occasional wild chicken, making it an ideal space for a rancher that wants to let their slimes roam more freely. Interesting. Roam freely. So this would be... I guess this is what they call um, free range ranching. Free range ranching. And I'm not too sure I'm keen on that idea. But I suppose we could just let our slimes roam free over here and they can eat right from the trees. Look at this. Who built this, I wonder? Oh, this is cool. And this bunch of chickens just popped up out of the pink grass. Hello, chickens. Come here. I need you guys. I need to go feed some peoples. So this is pretty great. So we have we have plots here, garden plots that we can use to grow our own veggies and fruits, which we're going to want to do pretty quickly. And apparently chickens will... Oh, 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 they do. They literally just pop out of the ground here. That's interesting. Oh, here's some fruits. Oh, I love it. So yeah, I guess we could just let some slimes go. And here's some carrots. There's a carrot patch right here. And we've got fruits. Are there fruit bushes? Like, I see these pogo fruits here. Um, isn't that a pogo f bush right there? I think so. Doesn't have any fruit on it right now. Here's more carrots. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I guess we can have free-range slimes. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm keen on that idea, just to let slimes roam around in here. I mean, the walls are pretty high. I guess they'd be safe. Oh, here's, uh, here's a pogo fruit bush right here. And suck those right down. And I could even grow my own pogo trees and stuff because the, the fruit will fall right off when they're ripe, right? Like with the beets and the carrots. Let's go ahead and make a garden. And we'll put some... I have! I did! I built a garden! That's cool. Let's put a fruit in there. So now we have a pogo fruit tree. Yeah! Don't you get any ideas! That's right. Turn around. Look at me when I talk to you, spy chicken. Poop! <laughs> All right, I'm going to suck up all the hens, hen hens, because it looks like they do just pop out of the ground. <laughs> this is great. Well, I'm going to grab some now and just load up so that I can run back real quick. Did I just step on somebody? Oh, I did. Somebody in that grass down there. And uh, let's go. Let's go at least feed our slimes that we have in in corrals. And then we'll have to pick and choose the lucky winners to come over here in the free uh, the free range. <laughs> <laughs> looks, looks like looks like I can go right over there. All right, now what's the best way to do this? Sprint, get a burst, and uh, did it. And then right here, uh, uh, I need a turbo on this thing. <gasps> what the dickens? Whoa! Look at that place. Have we been there? Oh, there's um, Exile uh, Vacation Island over there where our little boom slimes are chilling right now. And look. I didn't know we could get there, but there's a hole, like a gate. I wonder if I get the backpack upgrades, if I can jump and fly all the way over there. Ooh, that's something we're going to have to test out in the future. We'll do a little R&D. We'll make sure that we don't have anything in our tubes, because I don't think there's any loss on death other than um, anything that you have in your tubes and a little bit of time. Oh, gosh. Oh, those are my slimes blowing stuff up. So, we'll, we'll think about that very soon. First things first, though. Let's go Let's go take care of our little honey slimes over here, these poor little guys. Aww, so cute, but hungry. Here, guys, eat up. And we have a new source of food for you all. Now, I'm wondering, little guys, since they're nice, and they only have one little poop, if... Ooh, I'm all out, guys. Sorry. If... Maybe I'll bring my honey slimes and release them over there. Or tabbies! <gasps> I could keep all my kitties over there, but tabbies don't really have very highly valued poops. I don't know. What do you guys think? It would be awesome to keep a gazillion little tabbies over there. Or maybe golden tabbies! Yeah. Anyway, let's let's make a... I want an auto feeder here so I can dump all these chickens in it. It's 350. Easy as pie. And for a wealthy rancher like me, highly successful slime rancher, you see. He's probably the most successful rancher on the whole planet. I think this... I think I'm the only one, though. <laughs> Not much competition. <laughs> I 
Actually, I do have competition. Those other people that always want stuff on the ranch explain, explain, <laughs> ranch exchange. Uh, all right, so I guess we'll just dump them all in there. Who else eats meat? Well, you guys eat meat. And you don't have any beets left. Um, but you guys will get beets in the morning. And look at this food coma. This is what you get when your slimes are happy and cared for and nurtured for properly. Food coma. They can't even move. They ate so much, they're so happy and satisfied, and he's just playing with his little plort hoover. The, the, the pooper hoover. <laughs> In fact, speaking of plort hoovers, let's go ahead and make one over here. Stop it. So I don't have to go in there anymore because it's super dangerous. And this is the, the poop hoover, I call it. Actually, let's, let's call it the pluver. Yeah, trademark. Trademark that name, the pluver. It's the plort hoover or the poop hoover. Because <laughs> it sucks it right up like a hoover vacuum, right? Wow, you guys have everything now. You should be happy. Wow. This is part of their nature, like I said yesterday. They can't help it. They're just explosive little fellers. Now, guys, I need your little honey plorts, and I, I might have a place for you all. Yeah, let's do it. These poor little guys. They're going to have uh, lots of fruits to eat. You should be happy. It's going to be a pain in the butt to collect their plorts, but you know what? My honey slimes deserve a uh, free-range Roman. <laughs> and there's nothing here that you guys can eat that can get you in trouble, right? I don't think so. All right, let's let him go. Yeah, I mean, I could let the boom slimes in here, too. You know what I mean? That way, they'll be out of the way. We won't have to listen to their explosions. You know what we'll do? I think we're just going to let everybody roam free once in a while. That's what I think. And we're going to start with the honey slimes. I mean, listen to how happy they are. Look at him jamming. You guys, you, you be jamming? Huh? I get it. Yep, that's great. All right, guys, have some fun. You're hiding in the little purple grass over here. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, let's just let them have their fun. And I'm going to get out of here and go cash in these plorts. And see what else we can do. There's another expansion on the other side of our ranch. And I'm curious what the heck's over there. All right, guys, just cashing in the evening harvest. And now we have 1776, the year of independence. Can we get some fireworks here, guys? Just like back at home in America. Come on. 1776, the year we declared independence. Yeah, that's right. Boom. Nice. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> okay. So what are we going to do now? Let me think. Let me think. How did you guys get out? Ooh, Elder Ro an Elder Roostro shakes his tail feathers and no one cares. Get in there, you old coot. How did you climb the fence? I just put up big walls. You know what I think we might do right now, guys, is let's head out into the range and see if we can't find a roostro or two. Because I'm running low on roostros. And while we're here, we can suck up some of these fruits that these guys aren't eating. I'll take them if you guys don't want them. Because we can always use these for our little fellers back at the ranch. Snatch that up too. All right, it might as well grab that. Oh, look, a box. You know what? Just get rid of the phosphor port. Excuse me, little chickadee. Hey, come here, actually. You want to help me out? Ready? Three, two, one. Boo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's not heavy enough. How about you, slime? Bam! Oh, hey, a rooster was in there. <laughs> nice. Sorry, a little chickadee. Now get over here. I'll bring you home. Where we'll, we'll, we'll set you up with a mama and a papa, okay? We can do that at the Punchwood Ranch. Oh, dear. I hear more zombies. Where are they at? Hey, that's the zombie music. They're down here. Oh, yeah, there they are. Hey, get out of here evil rotten fiend look at exile island i mean vacation island zombies 
Oh dear, that's not a very good vacation, is it? Oh boy. <laughs> well, nothing I can do about it over here, and I'm not gonna go over there and try to help right now. Ain't got the time. I'm just here for the fruits and the veggies, and I just saw a box, so let's pop that. Oop. Come here. Hey! My box. Where'd it go? Where'd that box go? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Uh, no. Just give me the fruit. There we go. Alright, partners. Back at the ranch. It's now past 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'd like to get a little bit of shut-eye before we get started on the next day. So I'm going to hop into bed. And I'll see you all in the morning. And then we'll maybe we'll head over to uh, that section over there. Open that up and see what's on the other side. I'm quite intrigued. So with that, we're going to call it quits. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.